How beautiful. Okay. Now, new story for today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the desktop real quick. We have a story here talking about the Ryzen 5 5600X is going to end Intel's lead in single-threaded performance, 10% faster than the 10900K and 23% faster than the 3900X. So there were some leaked CPU-Z scores saying that the 5600X is going to be better than the 1900K in single-threaded workload and it has a significant lead over the 10700K and 3900X which is pretty crazy for a CB that's going to come in at like $200. Yeah. Um, so the score of 643 points is leading the 10 to 100K by 10%. Um, it also shows that it'd be 23% faster than last gen stuff in single core, which is to be expected, but 23% is pretty high. We weren't expecting that's that a, big of a jump. That's a larger, well, you got to remember, what is that jump going to be over the 3600X? It's going to be pretty, pretty it nice. It should be even bigger, I would think. Yeah, so I'm very excited because of these leaked benchmarks. This stuff's going to be coming out November 5th, so I don't know who here is planning on buying uh, these new um, CPUs, but I know definitely we're going to have some awesome builds. Uh, hopefully, AMD keeps inventory up. I'm hoping the CPU launches are easier than the GPU launches have been, but we'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna hopefully everyone get their hands on it and just imagine the 5950X like that thing is gonna be ridiculous compared to everything else out in the market. <laughs> no, they're probably not overclocking the 1900K in these comparisons. They're probably no. just stock. So that's true. 1900K, you do have the overclockability, and you probably would have higher clock speeds technically. But just in terms of general IPC, it looks like the 5600X is gonna be probably the best gaming CPU for the money right now. To be fair, um, you can overclock the 5600X too. too. Yeah, I that's mean, that's true. all Ryzen processors, you've been able to overclock out of the box. So you really can't just use the overclocking thing as an excuse. And it's you know? gonna be way more power efficient, 65 watt TDP out of the box. Like that's great. Like it's it's, just, it's honestly it's very exciting. Um, we were really happy to see new CPUs launch because you know what we do on the channel we do PC builds. But to see this kind of improvement over the last generation, even though last gen is like really good still. I mean it's crazy. I'm not gonna put a 5,000 CPU on a B50 motherboard because I rather not risk having issues with beta BIOSes. Well, the issue we talked about earlier was there might be delays before you actually get those BIOSes on B450 boards. Next year. So if you do buy a CPU this month, um, I don't. I would be very hesitant with these B450 and other boards actually having support on launch. The stock 510, I think, has one or two fans. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. Most stock cases that don't have RGB fans are always gonna have one or two. Yeah. And the way the new Ryzen CPU and GPUs work together with memory, that is, a, I really want to test that. That's going to be really cool yeah. because they've always, like, it always made sense. There was always, like, a underlying, like, idea that if you got an AMD CPU and AMD GPU, it's a, it's a balanced build. They make the same thing. But they never come out and say that, like, okay, you actually benefit from having both AMD parts. So that's going to be really cool. made you want to go with, like, an NVIDIA card just to have NVENC, you know? Yeah. So it's going to be cool. I'm very excited. I really do want to build a PC with that. And hopefully uh, we will uh, see some really good performance and uh, see all AMD systems being the go-to meta, which never really was because a lot of people just wanted to go NVIDIA. So we'll see. Intel and NVIDIA is what everyone used to want. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna probably buy a new CPU. Yeah, you pro if you guys have B450 boards or 400 series boards and you're wanting to upgrade, I, te I you can buy them now, but I can't promise that your motherboard's gonna actually support it until New Year, based on the rumors. So, yeah. 39 or 5950X and 6900X. That would be the I most mean, ridiculous build ever. Yeah, it'd be just like stupid, ridiculous, yep. pretty much. Uh, do you think there will actually be competition between NVIDIA and AMD cards now? Yes. Based oh, on yeah. the rumors, the AMD GPUs are going to look really good. They're saying that their 6900 XT, I think, is going to actually be better than the Didn't they say better than the 3090? Yep. Yeah. For less. Which is the first time ever. So we'll I've see. I've never seen AMD have a card that's better than nvidia's top end card so we're gonna see uh of course skepticism until all the official benchmarks come out but based on the promises amd has delivered with the last few launches i have no reason to doubt it so and also it's exciting because once amd launches these cards you know the uh right now the only cards you can get there good are the 30 series so once they have these out Hopefully to make it to where there's actually stuff in stock because everybody's I, not just buying one freaking card. I really want to see. I, I really don't think there's going to be. It's probably gonna be like early January before we can just like pull up Newegg or Amazon. And uh, oh, he's here awfully early. What's up? That's oh, yeah. weird. Um, yeah. We did a thumbnail. We did. Yes, we did. Good job. Mikhail should make sure we did a thumbnail. Yes. <laughs> um, but uh, I was totally lost my train of thought. But yeah, early he's January so is. I was just like, hello. <laughs> early January is probably when we can just pull up Amazon Newegg and actually see cards in stock. But we'll see. 
hoping AMD has the new InBank encoder. We hope. Competitor. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're thinking, too. I mean, it, it makes sense. Like, I don't get why they wouldn't by now, but who knows? Yes. What? I just learned from Lollipop that you guys are oppressing the people of... Uh, it's the whole... Dance. It's it's the whole... Ooey, ooey thing. Oh. Yes, we're not doing that anymore, Moon yeah, Jeff. No, Cut it out. Just, uh, it's, just, it's one of those things where, like, it's not... Even if it was in English, it's still not socially acceptable. Yes, it's not something that we just need to be spamming in our Discord and stuff. So. Yeah. I'm really excited about the RTX 3060 and 3050. I mean, if those budget cards come out, it'd be cool. I know everyone's already talking about how since AMD announced their stuff, NVIDIA is already like, all right, let's work on the, the Supers. Super. Oh, I the Supers it. are going to be coming here soon. So there's going to be so many graphics cards, it's going to be ridiculous. Uh, and you know what would make so much more sense to me is if... NVIDIA just kept up production mm -hmm. instead of completely having to change production and just made the shit cheaper. Yep. That's all you gotta do. Like, they have stuff that competes with AMD. They literally go back and forth, back and just forth. make it cheaper. Just make it have cheaper. Have a price battle. Instead like, of they're gonna release new cards and just be ridiculous. Yeah, they're gonna release new cards and there's gonna be 8 million different cards and you can't... The problem is when you have so many different cards, you can't just have a production line making one or the other. Or, sorry, you can't have them making both. They gotta make one or the other. And so it's just gonna slow down production the more crap they make. Will any of the GBs be in stock? Everything that we've been hearing is just, you know, it looks like probably January, February range is when we'll actually have, like, full inventory of everything. Is that it? all just depends on how the world keeps going. Yeah. I mean, if we can st actually start, like, I mean, you got to think, I don't know how many people are in the U.S., but the in the chat at least, but the U.S. is, like, all-time high for COVID numbers at the moment. Yeah. So I, I don't even know. I mean, it just depends on um, how soon we can get the world, like, functioning normal again. Yeah, there's still some issues to be had. So, 